Stun plane not your style? Hop inside a freaking fighter jet. Equipped with missiles and some super duper fast jet engines. Patrol the skies or escape police in the coolest vehicle ever. So as you guys might know, Jailbreak is getting a planes update this weekend. It's going to be amazing. It's like one of the most anticipated things ever. It's going to have like a crazy like live streams and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at all the plane stuff. So if I come over here to Batamo's Twitter page, let's go ahead and start from the very bottom. So right after the last update release, he was like, next up, planes. And everyone was so hyped. So today, we finally got the first look at planes. So as you can see over here, I'm going to go ahead and just zoom in real quick. You can see the first plane. It's time to fly. Planes are coming to jailbreak. Leave smoke trails in the sky and pull off stunts with the small size stunt plane. So as you can see here, we got a little like a toy propeller plane almost. That's what everyone's been saying it looks like inside of the comments section of the uh, tweet. But uh, honestly, it doesn't look too far off from an actual stunt plane, right? Just to uh, be sure. I'm gonna search a uh, stunt plane real quick, all right? Images, uh, is there any? Yeah, you can see a stunt plane is pretty small, all right? It's not like any crazy big plane. I think that plane and this plane are actually fairly related, okay? You can see the propeller in the front. And yeah, here's another version of a stunt plane. It looks something like that. You got the wheels here in the front. I think the plane in Jailbreak is pretty much based off of this one, uh, the s 342 or whatever that's called. Alright, and then it has like a six blade propeller, or what looks like a six blade propeller at least. I think it could be a four blade, but due to like the camera rotation, it looks like a six blade. And here we go, you can see we got another uh, view of the uh, scale of it, so it looks like it's a, a tunnel, alright? So I'm gonna go ahead and go fly over to the tunnel, it looks like it is the one over uh, here, okay? So one of the little hole in the side of the wall. So to give you a sense of scale as to how big the planes are, this is what the uh, tunnel in the same picture as Simo took looks like. Right? You can see over here, we are in the exact same spot. Now, a helicopter fits inside something along the lines of this, right? And just to show you how big a helicopter is, I'll fly outside here. Okay, so the plane, it looks like, is going to be a similar length to the helicopter, and the wings are going to be something like about the body size, slightly longer than the actual body without the pole sticking out of the back of the helicopter. So, it is a pretty small plane, but it's not, like, the tiniest vehicle ever. There's also, like, the ability to, like, put a smoke trail coming out of the tail, which would look pretty cool. Now, for flight controls... I honestly have no idea if a SEMO is going to release easy flight controls or realistic flight controls. So if you guys don't know what easy flight controls are, it's basically what Mad City has. Okay, you press W to go forward, you press S to go back. It's basically like what the helicopter has right now. There's no like a collective cyclic and like a rear propeller thrust control. It's not none of like those crazy fancy flight simulator style controls that like little six-year-old kids will have a problem understanding. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be a simple control, but I really hope Bad CC if you're watching this video right now, please add realistic flight controls mode to the planes. Because I really, really want to be able to, you know, barrel roll them in midair and like do some funny stunts and stuff. Because the SEMO did say it was a stunt plane, I'm pretty sure it's going to be freaking realistic mode. And realistic mode is going to be hype. It's going to be like one of the best modes. And now, time for vehicle number two of this jailbreak update. Stunt plane not your style? Hop inside a freaking fighter jet. Equipped with missiles and some super duper fast jet engines. Patrol the skies or escape police in the coolest vehicle ever. Holy cow, this is sick. This reminds me of Mad City's Warhawk, but it's a little bit different. It only got one tail fin instead of two. It's uh, got uh, two engines instead of one. The cockpit is different. This is a freaking amazing jet, alright? I'm not sure what exactly it's based off of, but I'm gonna go ahead and just search up, like, F-16 or something. Yeah, look, reminds me of the uh, F-16 here, right? So just go into images, and you can see an F-16 looks like that in the uh, fighter jet. Actually, hold up. I'm pretty sure it's a Eurofighter Typhoon, alright? You guys can see here, it has two engines on the back here with the uh, canard-looking things in the front, and a cockpit that has, like, a two-piece. I'm 99% sure it's a Eurofighter Typhoon here, alright? You can see over here, in the front of the other image, there are, like, an intake vents. I'm not sure if you can see it too clearly here. But yeah, right here, you can see there's intake vents. And if I take a look over here at some of these photos, you can see the Eurofighter Typhoon does, in fact, have intakes on the bottom. It has the canards at the front of the nose, something like that. And most important, it has one tail fin. If I can get a picture of the back, it has two engines as well. So this is, like, 99% close 
to a Eurofighter Typhoon. I'm pretty sure that is what a Simo and Bad CC did here. Okay, it looks pretty amazing for a Eurofighter. All right, yeah, that's definitely gonna be pretty cool. And also, another s secret. If you see in this image right over here, the guy in the picture has two weapons. This is very suspicious, guys. Maybe, just maybe, we will have the ability to dual wield weapons. Alright, so right now you can see, like, if I have a pistol and I switch over to the rifle, I lose a pistol, alright? Basically, that would be, you can have, like, the pistol on your side and you can, like, a quick swap. Well, technically, you can already quick swap right now, so honestly, I don't feel like uh, that's gonna be too much of a difference to the game. You're still gonna be able to, you know, just to use multiple guns, but I think it would, like, maybe look cooler if you had, like, two guns in your hands or something like that. But I'm pretty sure this is, like, a blender render or something like that, and it's just, like, uh... You know, they just do it for show, okay? I don't think that's gonna be realistic in the game. Now, where do these planes spawn? Now, there's two possible answers. The military base and the airport. So, I'm pretty sure that the fighter jet will spawn at the military base. Simply because the militaries use fighter jets. And the stun plane will probably spawn at this airport over here. Or they could both spawn here, or they could both spawn at the military base. But I'm pretty sure the military base won't have an aircraft spawn because that hangar is currently being used by the military chief. Now, I don't know why they give an aircraft hangar to a land vehicle, but uh, Asimo actually might change it, so who knows. Maybe the jailbreak Eurofighter will be inside of the military base, and then the uh, stun plane will be inside of the airport right here. Because this looks like a civilian airport in the military base. Obviously, it's a military base, okay? So obviously, military stuff's gonna be over there. Now, this looks pretty cool, okay? But from the images here, you can see this is at the airport with the uh, fighters, and uh, this looks pretty cool over here. There's no smoke trail on the fighter, but it does look at this all right just so amazing man i can't wait to actually be able to fly them now speaking of flying the plane i have like a temporary like jailbreak currently to airdrop planes inside of this game over here and i'm gonna show you what it could be like flying the planes this is in no way shape or form related to jailbreak i just put a model like the best like free model plane script i found put it with the jailbreak plane mesh and we're gonna test it out here so three two one turn on the engine throttle all the way up here if you guys have played any like classic 2013 2014 plane games this is very similar to how those playing games work, alright? You can see over here, just casually flying around here. Though I'm pretty sure Bad CC is going to be much, much more sophisticated in this uh, goofball one I found in the free models catalog, alright? But you can see over here, we're just like right now flying around here. This is the airdrop plane in case you guys are wondering. Uh, we just like uh, have a, a random like copy of Jailbreak here. But anyway, you can see over here, we have ourselves this plane. And we're just casually flying around here. This is probably what it looks like. The landing gear just put there because the script required it to have a landing gear. And yeah, so I'm not sure if this is how the player is going to actually sit. This isn't even an actual one. But it's just to give you an idea of how the plane is handled. Okay, basically I'm flying with the uh, mouse and I can control the throttle with WASD. All right, but the only issue is right now with this script, it just like falls out of the sky. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not realistic. Now what I want to happen is when planes fall out of the sky, they should just catch on fire, explode, and oof the player. And another thing about the uh, stunt plane is the propeller in the front whenever you like run it into people it should be able to oof people right because i mean it's a propeller spinning at like 3000 plus rpm it's definitely got a lot of killing force behind it all right so we might as well like you know have it like have train the collision kill break something like that so you guys know how like when you go onto the jailbreak train right now and you go to the front you run into the train and it'll just oof you all right kind of wish the new planes like especially the propellers would have something like that all right but right now you can see we're just casually flying around here this is probably what it's going to kind of be like except it might actually be keyboard control there's going to be a lot of interesting like quirks that like planes will have because it's like players like to control them all sorts of different ways like people like me that play flight simulators like or at least used to play flight simulators i like using keyboard to control the planes right because like you know w makes the nose go down s makes the nose goes up d and a roll the plane left and right and then maybe you have like z and c or q and e control the rudder i think it's like q and e for rudder controls but like uh yeah I really hope it is full motion control because that would be freaking amazing. So I guess that's basically uh, most of the uh, stuff about playing. I'll go ahead and head back in here to the uh, sneak peeks to take, give you guys one last look. This is what, uh, let me go ahead and come back to the uh, stunt plane. It looks like a model, whatever plane. I don't know exactly the exact one they based it off of, but like it looks kind of similar to this one over here. Like you can see, it's like a low poly version of it. That's why it has like triangular windows. If you guys have played like simple planes or any of those plane building games, this is what like that this plane reminds me of. Like a simple plane you'd build inside of those games. And uh, yeah, let's take a look back at the uh, the jet because I'm more excited about the jet 
than the uh, the stunt plane, right? So you can see the jet here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Yeah, it definitely looks like a Eurofighter here. Okay, it has the intakes here on the side. It has the uh, little landing gear. So I'm not sure if there's a picture of the with the uh, gears deployed or not. Uh, yeah, there there's the one with a uh, gears deployed. It's really similar to the Eurofighter, although not exactly the same. So I know the Matt City one is based off of an F-22 because you can see it has a two tails and it has something like this. I'm not sure if anything's based off the F-35. The F-35 is weird. It has a double tail as well. So I'm pretty sure it is the Eurofighter Typhoon here. Okay, it's like the only one I can think of right now that has the canard thingies at the front, the engine intakes as well, and especially double engine, all right? So the double engine on here is a key feature that distinguishes from the uh, Mad City one. It's completely different. Hopefully we get realistic controls. Asimo, bad CC, whoever's responsible for it. Realistic controls or I go play Mad City. Actually, no, I'll go back to playing like some random old flight simulator game from like 2014. How about that, right? Now, speaking of price, I have no idea how much these are going to cost. But I'm gonna guess the fighter jet is gonna be a 2 million vehicle, okay? It's gonna cost at least 2 million. Simply because one, it's stupid fast, and two, it's a freaking jet with missiles. So it's at least going to be 1 million, because that's what the army helicopter has, the missile capability. It has to at least match the army helicopter, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be a multi-million. And plus, planes in real life, let's just search how much the Euro Fighter Typhoon costs. It costs about... 125 million euro. That is like almost 150 million US dollars, all right? So definitely a very, very expensive vehicle. Now in jailbreak, if it is 150 million, well, I'm gonna go broke super fast. I highly doubt it's gonna go over 100 million. It's probably gonna be between two and five million. That's my estimate. The small plane probably will be like 250,000 to 750,000, somewhere in there. It's gonna be less than a million because it's gonna be a slow plane for sure. And it's going to be like no missiles. It's like the uh, Mad City. It's like a Buzzard versus the Warhawk. Or like the stock plane versus the Warhawk. Something like that, alright? I mean, it's going to be pretty pretty cheap for the uh, small plane. So like everyone, most people can enjoy it. And then like the um, fighter jet is going to be an exclusive luxury style vehicle for like the best of the best. So yes, I'll go ahead and wrap up this plane vehicle video here. If you guys enjoy this um, first look at planes. Honestly, it's like the best update since Jailbreak has been released. Second to maybe the train, but like still, it's freaking planes. It's OP. It's amazing. It is everything just epic. Alright, so yes, if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to press like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time.